as most people are sleeping, enjoying their Saturdays, you know, resting and so on and so forth, Mr. Andre here is doing somebody a big favor. With the helper today. Mark got up with me as well at 3 o'clock in the morning to do this pickup. So we're heading to Seattle to the airport to Delta picking up I don't know what it is 60 pounds worth of something it's one piece 60 pounds and then it delivers to Hayden Idaho on Monday it's supposed to be a simple load simple fast load and go hopefully it arrived hopefully there's no issues as far as it flying in and so on and so forth so I don't know 300 miles to pick up is what we're doing and hoping for the best <laughs> in a way that guy's got bags flopping all over the place in the back well let's get to it it's springtime so there's no more snow in the mountains for now all it is is just rain, rain, rain. And when it's raining, it's kind of hard to stay awake, especially when you get up at 3 a.m. and go to bed like at 11.30. That's when I went to bed. Or maybe, or fell asleep after that time or so. Still snow up in the mountains, you guys can see that. down the road well update give for you guys um, supposedly stuff was paid but numbers don't match that number and that number they don't match so something was paid to release the freight but it was for a different freight not the one we're here to pick up so um, boys hungry we're gonna go to Denny's while it's getting cleared up and Denny's is just really right there oh sorry pointing the wrong way right there right behind this place i believe so we're going to denny's while things are getting cleared up once they get cleared up we'll come right back get loaded and get going and hopefully that's really the only issue with the freight our breakfast has showed up mark doesn't want that Well, we're full and we're back. This weather's making me super sleepy, super tired. You know why? Because we woke up at 3. And then we had to wait for the approval. We got the approval. Now we're going back inside. We're going to get it paid for. And then we're going to go pick it up. So we'll just kind of park right here at the very last parking lot. Hopefully it's something super easy that we can just grab and put it in the van ourselves instead of using the forklift and stuff. I guess we'll find out. I'll just go like this. 
pull out a little more. All right, Mark even has some leftovers. Not leftovers, but his on the way to home meal left. Okay, let's go check back in. Let's go get this paid for, and then we'll get out of here, hopefully. Hopefully, they're not going to come up with any more new excuses not to give us the load. For some reason we thought it would be heavier but it's not we were doing a whole countdown and ready ready to lift it yeah this thing is like the pallet itself weighs probably more than in the cardboard than what's inside of here i don't know what's in here maybe we will ask once we get it delivered on monday for now let's go home we got eta is probably going to be like 1 30 for us to get home over I was gonna fly the drone here but it's raining so we can't do that the I just wanted to show Mark he's never been to the summit yet wanted to show him what it looks like over here and I noticed that there's people up there up there there's people and then up there there's people probably hard to see with this camera but they're up there they're kind of posing standing trying to I don't know what they're doing Trying to ski or snowboard, I don't know. Maybe they've got an instructor training them. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Pretty cool up here. Look at that, price for fuel is still $5.99. Didn't go down yet. It was $5.99 at 4, uh, <clears throat> 4 a.m. And uh, almost at 1 in the afternoon, same price. I don't know what's going on. When you guys are up at 3 in the morning, and driving one of these helps because I tried the natural way to stay energized with one of these things it doesn't help we we'll just kind of leave it hanging there or this way yeah. beautiful cloudy but still warm 50 degrees in Washington today it's the end of April 
and it's dry. That's nice. It's dry. Supposedly this whole week is gonna be well, I think there's rain coming, but I think we're gonna we're gonna hit some seventies for at least one day out of the week this week. Very happy about that. I'm not sure which day it'll be on, if I get to enjoy it or not, but you know we'll deal with it as we deal with it. about a minute for that freight to leave my possession and I'm out of here um, I asked what these guys do he said that they fly they do like FedEx loads and like s small air freight from here so I don't know this would actually be uh, maybe somebody to contact um, for as far as like final mile delivery freight when it comes in I don't know could be something could be something to consider actually to get in with these guys or at least give them our info that way when stuff comes in and nobody can you know hurry up grab it and do the final mile we can do it for them so it's actually not a bad idea not a bad idea but they fly you know there's a there's a really nice one over there but there's a junk plane there's two junk planes over there I don't know I didn't really there's junky planes all the way out there nothing is labeled fedex you wouldn't know anything the name of the company doesn't match what uh what the delivery you know company name said on my paperwork address matched and you know it is aerospace it said something about aerospace on my paperwork so you know they took it they know what it is supposedly empire aerospace and then there's another one Stancraft something over there. I don't know. In the middle of the field, these guys built themselves a business out here. Like literally in the middle of the field. Look at this. Just over the fence, they're just fields. One half mile. Turn left on West and this is all brand new here. I didn't I had no idea a thing like this exists over here. And I've been here for almost 30 years. Hmm. Learn something new. Almost every day. Not just teach somebody something new, but actually learn. Feels good. Okay, guys. God bless you. I'm on my way out of here. Um, I still have to do a Montana load today. So I got to boogie on out of here. Boogie on 
get a few things ready and head on out. So talk to you guys later. God bless. Stay safe on the road. If you want to join Eagle Express family as an owner operator, have your own big van. Don't call with a Chevy Express. Don't call with a Ford Econo line. Don't call with a Nissan NV. You know, none of that. Van like my size. You guys know what. You guys that watch, you guys see what size of van it is. If you got a big van, you guys can call us up or email. Best thing would be email the email address in the description, down below in the description. That's the best way to contact. Ask your questions that way because uh, honestly, I don't have the time to always answer the phone and just, you know, somebody's bored. They kind of, you know, sometimes I get phone calls saying, oh, I didn't really think you guys are real or would pick up the phone. And, you know, I just called just to, you know, just to see, just to see what. You don't have a van in hand. You're not ready to go. You have no idea what this is. You haven't done your research or anything. You kind of have to do your research first. If you're ready to hit the road for a few weeks at a time, two, three weeks might be even better. Depends what area you live in. Sometimes you make it home faster. Sometimes you come through home on the weekend. You know, there's, there's things. If you live in a really populated area in the middle of the country, you would probably have a better chance of getting home sooner if you really needed to. But besides that, you gotta be prepared to drive for at least a couple of weeks at a time without returning home because insurance is expensive. If you don't own the van outright already, your van payment's gonna be expensive. Fuel is expensive right now, so you gotta put the mileage on for this to make sense and work. Otherwise, no mileage is gonna be no, no money, not worth it. A lot of people think they could do this locally. Me, you could, but you're just barely going to cover your bills and fuel and everything else. You're not going to make anything. Mileage is what makes the money. If you don't make the mileage, if you don't put on a bunch of miles, you you don't get a bunch of money. The more miles you put on, the more money you make. So, just so you guys know. Take care. God bless. Catch you guys on the next one. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It's free and you can do a good deed for me. Have a good day.